So with the mess that was the 4th of July update, it seems like they patched most of the bugs and glitches. Um, apparently console isn't fixed yet, which is, um, yeah, but yeah, uh-huh. We're, we're gonna focus on the PC version in this video though. So they, it seems like they fixed, you know, super jumping, you can actually, um, you know, the replication seems to be a little bit better, optimization seems to be a little bit better, everything just seems to be a little bit better, alright? It seems to ju just been a very rocky start of this update, which I'm not gonna cut them slack for, alright? It's still something that should be, like, criticized because, wow, tw I'm still gonna say it, 20, 20 shutdowns, dude. That's a lot. But let's get into the positives of the update. So um, they actually brought back um, M sliding. Well, sorta. They they increased the cap. So originally with this new update, they didn't actually remove M sliding entirely. What they did was they added a speed cap, which also in turn um, affected M sliding. And they've updated the game to increase that speed patch, well, that speed cap a little bit. So you can actually M slide pretty good again um but zingo sliding um but I, wait let me show you all right i don't think zingo sliding is back at all <sighs> yeah zingo sliding isn't back which still sucks so uh that's still a negative in my eyes sure all right so yeah m sliding is sort of back zingo sliding is not back so i'm not really gonna say that's a very huge plus but they actually listened somewhat when it came to that and uh, i didn't think they would actually bring back m sliding in any way shape or form which is yeah uh, th thank you, I guess. The next thing is the UI itself. Um, from what I've seen, people don't seem to enjoy how the new UI looks. Um, personally, I really like it. It's more optimized, it has site categorization, which we have been asking for for a long time now. Um, which, uh, you know, it's finally here, right? And not only with this new UI is it just more optimized, because I remember don't quote me on this, but due to how unoptimized the previous UI was, the accumulative skins between all the players in the server would lag, and depending on how many skins there were, it would lag more or less, you know? And for a player like me with over 250 pages of skins, my inventory would lag, and I think that would also affect the server in some way, I'm not really sure though. But previously when I would shuffle through my skin, my skins generally, it would lag a lot, but now with the new UI? It seems to be pretty optimized regarding that. And with this new UI, um, they also added uh, a new thing regarding case opening. So uh, when it comes to cases, you can now um, you can now choose between available cases, which is very nifty, and you can also roll all cases like this. Wow, I didn't get a single melee. Like this, you know, I didn't get a single melee again. There we go, Jesus. See now we we got the melees right, and it's like. It's, it's cool, it's boss. So that's a cool little addition, right? And on top of that, with the new UI, they will now be able to add more customization. Sure, the UI might look the same to you in your eyes, and it is pretty much the same currently, but behind the scenes, they now have a lot of a lot more wiggle room when it comes to adding stuff generally to the UI. What I what I mean by that is I mean stuff like select selling skins. So you could select skins here, select how many skins you want, and then press sell, right? Something like that, or probably something like saving setups. If you know they would do that, I'm not really I'm not really saying that they will add this. I'm just saying there's a possibility now because this simply wasn't possible with the previous UI. Um, and generally the content added added in this new update, like the guns and the balance changes, are good. They are good. It's a good. Uh, they're good additions. All right. A lot of people will complain that the can can is very high rank. So is the C882 and the M1903. But here's a hard to swallow pill. Most of the ranks, most of the lower ranks are really, are already occupied when it comes to guns. You can't really add a lot of guns when it comes to lower ranks. And the guns that they add are pretty nice. The C882, actually no, I don't like the C882. It's not very good, honestly. But the cannon cannon is very funny. And the M1903 is an actual good sniper. Uh, even though I haven't really used it. But I, I, I have experience from the test place, right? Um, and one last thing that I've noticed about this new update that I find... Amazing. Well, only for me then. Um, let me show you this, alright? So, I'm gonna have to turn on display. Go here, alright? And look at the art. It's me. I, I won Fan of Forces. This is it. This is the final stage of Fan of Forces. I am now, I am now Fan of Forces. Even though I trash talk the update this much, 
this is nice all right and <clears throat> and once again to uh give this video a little conclusion with all the negatives that was the first 24 hours which i'm not gonna cut them slack for and that was embarrassing on how bad the first 24 hours was they seem to have um patched out a lot of the mess that they caused and it seems that the update is pretty stable right now the the content is good the ui in my opinion is very good even though a lot of you guys might, might not like it a lot the game is generally more optimized from what i've, I've seen from people say and uh, overall i think this update currently is really good even though it had a very rocky start so if you guys enjoyed the video press the like button buy my merch even if i don't have any and i'll catch you in the next one see ya love you mwah